today we are going to see how you can root your uh, oneplus 3t so in case you have that phone or if you're planning to have that phone oneplus 3t you can use that first we will start with the basic steps since this is a completely new device now how you can root that there are two methods uh, you already might have known pc method that is computer method and the non-pc method so which includes some third party applications like kinga root frame root so whatever terms with the root so guys personally if you ask me i have done dozens of times routing so when I started a couple of years back, I started trying these kinds of applications because everybody wants simple step. So these applications never work on the later version of Android. Till Android Lollipop, I agree that they work mostly, but from the Android Marshmallow, Google has changed so many things that uh, it's not easy to try uh, after that and they won't work pretty much very easily. Uh, I will recommend you to use PC method. Now what are things you required for the PC method? So first you need a computer. So I will show you with the running Windows you can use with the Linux too. And Windows you need some application of course. Then the mini minimum software you need is uh, ADB in the fast food because uh, you need some set of commands that work with the ADB. And if optionally you have better internet connection a lot of uh, some extra knowledge of the computer applications for example in right so you can install android studio you will get some extra privilege and extra commands but uh, it's really not needed you can use minimal adb in fastboot so i will put the direct setup file you can install that and you will get uh, some folder inside c drive preferably create c and write directory and use that so these are the files you can take that after that your computer is configured then you need some extra set of files and uh, this is called as a twerp and you, you should install twerp twerp is a much popular it has a most number of device supported now from where you can download twerp so you can either go to the twerp website or you can use application called official twerp app so here you just need to type the device model number so as you can see i'm just going to root oneplus ct today so i will just take one plus it shows at the top one plus 3d so it will show the latest available so this is the one 3.0.3 it's just really i guess one or two days back and already i have downloaded that file so you need 12 and twerp has to be copied to a computer and uh, make sure to uh, copy in the same directory where adb in fastboot is there and after that you need a super su a super su has to be copied on the phone twerp on the computer so after that everything is configured except the phone now you have to configure the phone so to do that you need to go inside this setting of the phone so whatever uh, os and you're running so you need to go inside the setting downside you will see about phone so here uh, you have to tick on this build number six to seven times you can see uh, once you click so since i already have enabled so it's not showing me once you click seven to eight times you will see this new entry called developer option you need to go inside you need to make sure this is turned on after that you have to first turn on OEM unlocking. It will give you some warning. Just make sure to click OK. Click on Advanced Reboot and USB Debugging. So Advanced Reboot may or may not present on your phone. It's not a problem. USB Debugging should be turned on. So why you need OEM unlocking? So for routing, it is not necessary. But yeah, it is always recommended if you are routing your device to make sure to OEM unlock. Now, what are the benefits of OEM unlock? The benefit is that uh, you will get some extra power. For example, if you're installing custom ROM, then if you have OEM unlock, you can easily install. If you haven't uh, OEM unlock, so it will be difficult to install custom ROMs since you're already routing. So why not try some custom ROMs, some other applications on the Android just for fun. Otherwise, uh, because OEM unlocking uh, needs your device to reset once. So if you haven't done after that you you might try to do that then you will again lose your data for the fresh phone first time you need to do that and uh, because OEM unlocking needs to erase your complete data so that's why once you bought a new phone try to root it as early as possible so after that your phone is completely configured now you need to connect your phone to the computer then we will see the rest of the commands there all right guys uh, we have connected our phone uh, with this usb cable to the computer and we have already set it our device our computer everything else so make sure you have installed this uh, ATB in Fastboot. So I have installed ATB and Android Studio both. So I'm taking this Android Studio. I have installed on, as you can see, Android SDK platform tools. So, and also I have downloaded this twerp that is latest required, as you can see. This is the twerp for OnePlus 3T, right? Uh, here's the one, OnePlus 3T twerp. So make sure to download your own twerp and copy in, inside the same directory where you will see this adb.exe and the fastboot.exe because it needs in the same directory otherwise you have to set the path that is complicated step so everything is done and once you connect your phone to the computer you will get this uh, allow usb debugging so you should uh, trust this always allow from this computer so the first command will be adb devices 
that will make sure like uh, your phone is connected to your computer as you can see now you need to uh, go inside this bootloader to run the fastboot command to flash the twerp so there are a couple of ways actually three ways so you can either use adb reboot bootloader command from itself or you can uh, if you have advanced uh, this uh, uh, recovery option or reboot option so you can see if i just press power button if you click that you will get a bootloader option or you can completely turn off your device then you can use this power button and the volume down at the same time it should go inside this bootloader so i'm going to use computer method so the next command will be adb reboot bootloader so you can see our device is inside this bootloader so you will get this kind of a window now the next command is to uh, run the fastboot command and this completely erase your device you should be using command fastboot om unlock so here's the command fastboot om unlock just hit enter now you can see on the phone it is asking for unlock bootloader so you should select here with this uh, not touch with this uh, volume key so you can see now it is on the blue that means you are okay you have to press this power button to go inside this uh, to uh, er completely erase your device just hit power button so device is playing now you should go and erase the device now each time you will restart your phone you will get this warning so it is five second flash window so no need to worry about it now it will completely erase the device now you have to reset your device back you can see please wait do not remove battery or turn off your phone it is erasing everything so let it erase first so uh, guys we have got the fresh device so now let me just complete this device configuration we will see the little steps after that so we have completely uh, turned on the device now you need to repeat the same step that we did on the phone so you need to go inside the setting and this you need to enable the developer option click on this build number you can see build number you got developer option go inside that and turn on that so OM unlocking is already turned on click on advanced reboot and make sure USB debugging turned on so you should uh, always select this it's actually RSA key that need to verify it again so now everything is connected and we will again go inside this uh, bootloader mode to uh, install the twerp so first we will check whether it's connected to the ADB devices or not so again we will type the command so it shows the device is connected now we'll use the command adb reboot bootloader to go inside this bootloader you can use either advanced reboot or hardware keys by turning off the device so you should go inside this bootloader so we will get this uh, bootloader window now you need to install the twerp here since we have already twerp copied here now the command will be so you can see it is stalling and it has installed this command uh, if it shows this uh, finished and with the ok so that means it is done now you need to uh, go back again to the recovery you have to use the physical keys so reboot bootloader reboot to recovery so just hit the power button so guys you can see this is the uh, new recovery so as you can see first time you will get this one uh, allow modifications so this is you will cut now you need to copy your uh, super sd file again back to your phone so you need to reboot back to the system and we'll copy so guys we have uh, copied the file so you have to again go back to the recovery because uh, you need to install that with the twerp so i'm just going to use advanced reboot go inside this recovery so we are inside this twerp now you have to simply go to the install section and browse to the location where you copied the file so my file was inside the download i'm just going to select this sr4 you need to uh, click swipe to confirm flash so it should install without any error so everything is done without any error now you need to wipe uh, cache in the dalvik 2 and when you just try to reboot it may happen so it will reboot couple of times so no need to panic i'm just going to reboot and once the device will boot up back we'll see the verify whether it is rooted or not so guys we have installed everything else now we'll just verify whether the device is rooted or not so i'm just going to use the application it's called as a root checker basic so just going to open root checker basic and you can see just click on this verify root so it shows clearly 
and my oneplus 3t is rooted successfully so we have seen guys how you can root your android device so steps are pretty much same just few things will change like uh, how to go inside this recovery and try file and insert super su version so make sure to read the xt forum before you do that and you can also tweet to me you can uh, subscribe and comment in my this youtube channel itself so i hope you guys find this video helpful this is sort of i'll catch you next video have a great day thank you so much for watching